Hey, what's going on guys? I hope you've been enjoying all of the home theater tours from the Wisconsin and Illinois trip that I recently took this past weekend. Over the weekend, uh, we made 13 tours. We went to 13 homes, checked out 13 um, home theaters in the Wisconsin and Illinois area, and all of them were different. All of them were uh, various shapes and sizes, and a bunch of different brands were represented. And man, it was just an absolute blast. It was exhausting, but it was an absolute blast. Uh, but I hope you've been enjoying the content. And so in the evenings, after I posted the home theater tour, we're doing 13, well, technically, all right, let me just make a clarification. I've been saying 13. I visited 13 home theater tours, but there's only gonna be 12 video tours. And the reason being is the 13th one was going to be uh, Tony, which is S-O-W-K, Salk Home Theater. I did a, um, a home theater tour of his setup about a year and a half ago, but honestly, we legit just ran out of time. We were just going and going and going and just didn't get a chance to do that. Um, but today I wanna focus on the video that I posted earlier today of Mark's incredible 11, and I know this may not technically be accurate because it's one, well, maybe it is technically accurate because he does have a Storm Audio that can process uh, a ton of channels. But anyway, he has a 11 .6, okay? So we're talking 11 JTR speakers on the floor. Now, each one of those pretty much have like 12 inch drivers, dual 12s. So think of that, 11 times 12 inch times two. And then in the back, there were three of them. So I'm just going, I walk in and I'm like, holy cow, man. All right, so first of all, you guys that have basements, man, I'm completely jealous, completely jealous. Um, in Florida, we don't have basements. I was telling the guys up there, if we had a basement here, it would be called an aquarium because our aquifer, I think is what they call it, the water table, the water level underneath us isn't very deep. And so we don't have the ability to dig down. Um, but man, just about all these guys had basements, man, and just huge open areas, big old honking theater rooms. Um, but we go into Cinemark's setup and I'm just like looking around. It's like a kid in a candy store, man. I'm seeing all these awesome speakers and JTR, man. I love JTR, uh, the sound of that. So I'm like, Oh dang, this is about to go down. And uh, so um, one of the cool things, I wasn't able to show the video clip to this, but um, you know, we're hanging out for a little while and then uh, we go to demo and, and every guest has been so hospitable. And they're like, hey, you can sit in the hot seat, you can sit in the primary listening position. And so I sit down in the front and, and Mark fires it up and uh, um, he starts off his demo with my cousin Vinny. Now, I haven't seen the movie, but I'm looking at it going, okay, you know, normally people, when they showcase their home theater, um, they, you know, there's a big action scene like Fury, big tanks and explosions, or maybe Ford versus Ferrari, but he starts off his list of demos with my cousin Vinny, and we're all kind of going, where's he going with this? And so in that scene, it was actually pretty cool. Um, he gets to the end. I guess there's, you know, a judge that's talking to this guy, and and uh, forgive me, I don't I don't know the actors' names, but he basically was referring to teenagers, and he called them Utes, Y O U T, um, and the judge is like, say what? And he's like, you know, you're on a, a Ute, and he's like, a what? A Ute, and he's like, you mean a youth? <laughs> and so the screen, right after that scene, the screen pops up and it basically says, welcome Ute man. So that's, that's, uh, was pretty cool. I love the, the play on that. And so then we start to go through the actual demos and then we go through a bunch of music, a bunch of movies and man, it was just, it was refreshing to be honest with you. It was just so clean. I mean, we didn't crank it. We cranked it later on. But at first, you know, it was just a good volume, uh, probably, you know, maybe close to reference. I'm not sure where we were at, you know, volume wise, but just a, a smooth, solid feel, beautiful, beautiful dynamics. I mean, just beautiful mid-range in the vocals. Um, and then when we kicked on those big scenes, holy cow. All right, think about this. If you saw the video, Mark has 
two JTR Captivator 4000 ULF. So those have dual 18s in the front. Then he's got dual 18s in the side and single 18s, I believe, in the back. So you're talking two, four, six, eight, nine. There's 10 18 inch subwoofers in this room. And you're like, holy cow, all right, that's, that's got to be enough, right? Nah, no, that whole, um, you know, uh, these go to 11, that's what Mark was thinking when he designed his own theater. He's like, you know what, I'd just add some more fun to this experience and uh, add even just more tactile base. I'm going to put a boss platform underneath. And so there's, um, uh, I think it was six... I don't know if they were 12 inch drivers, but six drivers. That was my first experience with a boss platform. Um, but man, I mean, you can just feel it in your chest. You can feel it in your body. Very, very well done. Um, and you know, the Storm Audio is just a really, really high end processor. Very similar, I guess, to Trinov. And, um, but man, it was just, you can tell Mark, you spent a lot of time dialing in your system and, and just really, really, you know, taking the time to go through and calibrate it and even getting to know you even after the trip, um, he was posting in their Discord group, you know, he's trying out some different things because one of the things that we all kind of talked about is I was sitting in the front seat, Tony was in the middle back seat and Tony was like, he was saying, man, I really love the way it sounds back here. He had tried both seats. I preferred the front seat and the reason why the front seat had a more enveloping sound, okay? And, and that makes sense because that's the primary listening position. That's probably where Mark was calibrating it primarily for. And so like, I mean, all the speakers were just, I mean, just completely enveloping, just a really, really immersive experience. And then you move to the, the rear seats and maybe it was just a little bit more laid back. It wasn't as enveloping, um, but Tony preferred that. And, and so Mark was trying to play with that just to see what he liked as far as up here or back there with some toe in, but just absolutely incredible system um, for sure. I think that was the first time I had ever experienced that many speakers and that big of a configuration. I mean, 11 bed layer speakers, who does that? Mark does that, that's who. Um, but it was just, I was like, I'm grinning from ear to ear and we're just having fun. And at one point we're like, you know, what? let's, let's just crank it up. I mean, let's just see. And it's one of those things and I'm finding this with JTR. They sound phenomenal at, at mid range level, low levels, but if you want to crank them and you want to give them some juice, they can absolutely handle it. I mean, your ears are going to give out far before the speakers do. And so definitely be careful if you got you know, speakers that are really high output like that. You just gotta be careful and protect your ears. But man, we just had a, an incredible time um, demoing and uh, just hanging out in his, his theater room, um, you know, again, for both music and movies. And one thing that, that I really saw throughout all of these home theaters and something I wanna incorporate into my home theater is every, just about, every, actually every one of them had all of their demos like digitally. So they would pull up Kodi or they would pull up an Nvidia Shield Pro. Um, some of them were doing NAS servers. And so they would literally be able to create a youth man tour or youth man demos playlist and they could go through like the ones that they had selected. Man, I wish I could do that. If you come over to my house, we're going over to my little uh, drawer of physical media and nothing wrong with physical media but I'm gonna pull out five or six Blu-rays and I'm gonna pop in uh, Ready Player One and then I'm gonna boot it up and then we're gonna to go to the right chapter and then I'm gonna turn up the volume and then we're gonna watch that one. I'm gonna eject it, I'm gonna go grab the next disc and, and we're just gonna go through you know, one after another. And it, it's, it's not as seamless. You know, I gotta turn the lights on and open the DVD and then shut the lights off. And man, I definitely want to get to the point of learning how to take my physical media and basically extract maybe different scenes out of it. Um, you know, pull the race scene out of Ready Player One, one-to-one, -one, you know, lossless. Um, so it's an exact copy of uh, that, 
put it on like my NVIDIA Shield and be able to create playlists and stuff like that. So that's something I'm going to be learning. I'm going to be asking these guys like, what is the process? What software do I need to be able to do that? Um, just to be able to demo that and make it really simple when somebody comes over, we can go through the Dolby app, a couple of Dolby Atmos demos, or we can pull up some clips of, of media that I own. And um, so I just think that would be really cool. But very, very well done, Mark. Your setup was not only just beautiful, I love the decor around the room. I mean, from the time you walk in, you know you're in a home theater, man. You've just put so much attention to detail in all of it. Um, and it was just a super, super fun and exciting uh, experience to check out your uh, home theater. Um, man, just, uh, again, I just walked away going, uh, all right, so th this, this sounds bad. I love my home theater, guys. But it seems like every time I go up to, and I've only been there twice now, every time I go to Wisconsin, I come back and go, man, my, my home theater ain't all that. <laughs> it's like, man, I just walk away going, how come mine doesn't sound quite that level? Well, these guys spend a ton of time calibrating. They, And one thing I appreciate about this group is they have a Discord server that allows them to communicate daily and weekly and they keep in touch with each other and they learn from each other and then they have an opportunity to go to each other's house they do this on a regular monthly basis they'll go to one person's house and hang out and they'll demo and they'll talk about audio and video and they'll calibrate each other's projectors and and, and having that amount of knowledge and that amount of you know um, experience is just invaluable so i'm Again, I'm completely jealous of your group and so grateful that you invited me to come into each of your homes to, to check out your amazing home theaters. Now, a couple other things I want to mention. Um, Mark was the one that designed the Home Theater Tours t-shirts. Dude, that was awesome, man. When, when I showed up to your house, you know, I, Tony had, you know, conveniently forgotten my t-shirt. No big deal. So that's why two of the videos out of the 12 that I'll share with you, I'm not wearing one because uh, we did two the first day that I flew in. But the rest of the, the videos, I'm wearing one. But man, they look great. Um, so I'm, I'm actually, I'm considering, you know, having those available on my uh, Youth Man Merchandise website uh, so that people, if, if you're interested in that, you know, you can purchase that. But they, they look so cool, man. So cool. So I appreciate that. I'll definitely cherish that. But just my time there, man, I'm telling you, um, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. You've done a really, really great job at putting together literally a first-class home theater. Well, guys, I hope you enjoy the rest of the videos. I'll be cranking one out every single day. 11, I'm sorry, 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time will be the tour. And then later on in the evening, about 8 o'clock, I'll be sharing with you my thoughts on that video. Well, guys, I hope you have a great week. God bless, and we'll catch you in the next video.